Trey Young, 35 and 10. The Hawks have now won 11 of their last 12, up 1 0 in this series. And then the pandemonium and chaos in that final 90 seconds, please. Yeah, no, I mean, it was a, a great, great start. We had a, a great, great start to the game. Got out, I mean, guys were locked in and focused from, from the jump, and it was good to see. And uh, the way we started in that first half, we just got to continue that. Um, in the second half, I think we did a good job in that third, but late in the game, I mean, I, I mean, I take a lot of responsibility for the turnovers and um, for kind of managing the game. I can do it a little bit better. And um, best thing that happened today is we won. When we have a lot of things we can get better at. So uh, I'm not mad about that. Sarah. Hey, Trey. Um, as things were dicey in the final minute or two, just how impressed were you with um, that three from Bogey? And then also John had a few clutch plays um, late. Yeah, very impressed. I mean, it's not something I was surprised about, but I mean, obviously it's, it's a big moment, big stage, and those, those two guys made plays down the stretch, and uh, it, was, it was great to see. Chris Kirshner. Hey, Trey, they obviously changed their defense on you in, in the second half. Where do you feel like you had to adjust to combat that? Uh, I mean, just... Uh, just for me, just play within the game. I mean, if they're they're going to be physical, use their I mean physical aggression. I mean, to my advantage. I mean, if they're going to do that or if they're going to be off, um, use that to my advantage. So it's really just figuring out what type of defense they're in and then uh, attacking it. Let's go to Andrew Lopez. Hey Trey, uh, more more to Chris's question there. Uh, were you kind of expecting them to change things up the way they did in the second half after um, the success you had in the first half? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I, we were up, I think, twenty going into the second half. I mean, obviously they're going to make some adjustments, uh, and uh, they did. They came out with a lot uh, with a, a different type of guys who they're guarding and putting putting people on. So uh, I knew they were going to make some some type of change. Alex Glaze. Hey, Trey, just, you know, as a, a leader of this team, just what are you saying to your guys in those final minutes as, you know, the Sixers are, you know, making their run, getting the steals? Just how do you calm everybody down and, and ride the ship? Yeah, I mean, it's tough because we, we, uh, we, we used one of our timeouts. Uh, we didn't have any timeouts late in the game. Um, but for us, I just wanted to get the ball in. We needed to find a way to get the ball in and get it past out court. And uh, like I said, that's something we can get better at. Um, and it's it's good that we can we can get better from it off a of win. So that's definitely something that we're gonna have to fix if we're gonna be be better going forward. And, and I, I think it was Kevin that passed it to Bogey on that three, right? And then he also had that inbounds pass to John just. Uh, have you seen any passes like that coming from him at practice before? I mean, those were two. I mean, those were two huge passes that uh, kind of sealed the thing for you guys. Yeah, I mean, no, I've seen it before. He's uh, he made big plays. Um, oh, he's gotten some, uh, some some really good passes. So I mean, I wasn't surprised. Just a few more. We'll go back to Chris. Trey, you guys have obviously had success on the road so far in the playoffs. Um, I'm curious, what, what do you think of the, the confidence of this group to, you know, get out there and, and win against any opponent, no matter the environment you're in? Uh, can, you, can you say the question again? I'm sorry. My bad, Chris. No, you're, no, you're good. Um, I'm, I was asking, what do you think of the confidence of this group with the amount of success that you guys have had on the road, and, and what do you think it says about this group? Yeah, I think, I mean, the confidence in, in all these guys is high. Um, I think Nate has um, done a great job of putting confidence in, I mean, in, in everybody and uh, continuing to tell people to attack and uh, be aggressive. And that's just what, what guys are doing. We're out here playing, playing for each other, playing and having fun. And uh, everybody's locked in, and it's, it's been great. Christos. Hey, Trey, congratulations on the win. What did you notice as the biggest growth, both of your team and on your game, and what would you like to maintain as a team on game two? I think, I mean, I don't know if there's a, a growth thing. I, I mean, I'm noticing, but I just, I like how focused and, uh, I, mean, I mean, everybody is to attention to details. 
um, things like that. I just I love this team's mentality uh, that we've had um, recently, and it's it's been great. We will we will give the final question to Leonardo Torres. Hi, Trey. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Trey, how much are you enjoying these playoffs? I mean, you're scoring and getting wins. Uh, what is the main goal of the team right now? To win. <laughs> to win. I mean, that's the main goal. I mean, all the individual stuff is, I mean, it's for the birds. I don't even care about it. None, none of these guys in this room cares about it. All we care about is wins. And uh, that's what we've been doing and, and taking care of business. And we got to have that same mentality going forward. And, we do that, we'll be okay. Thank you, Trey. I'm sure. Well, Joel Embiid made his return, dropped 38 and 9 in the loss. Philly came back late. They still fell by four. What do you guys uh, think you did with Trey Young and, uh, you know, first half guarding him and second half guarding him? Uh, we showed him some different looks out there. Obviously, um, you know, the kid is good. He's real, real skilled, and um, with the way that he uh, uses his body out there, um, he's able to distribute the ball and score at the same time. So, you know, I thought we showed different looks out there to him. Um, you know, overall, he pretty much had his way with us and getting guys involved, and then also getting into. Uh, you know, his game and whatnot. So I think we just got to mix it up, which we'll do. We'll, we'll adjust to that and um, show him some different looks as well and go from there. Doc said that he thought uh, it wasn't necessarily how the individual defenders handled him, but more of how they were uh, moving the ball and attacking traps and, and the rotations and whatnot. Did you think it was more of a team a team thing with handling him? Yeah, it's definitely not an individual thing with um, regarding a guy like that. Um, you know, they're dynamic because they run a lot of pick and rolls. You know, they have a dynamic roller and lob threat. And then they have shooters. And then, uh, you know, we got you give them credit because they made a lot of shots tonight. And, um, you know, a lot of them were contested as well. So we'll go back to the drawing board and figure out ways that we can uh, show some more bodies, get out the shooters, and, um, you know, find a way to get, get more stops out there. Michael Luongo. Thank you. Uh, Tobias, when you're trying to get your offense going, how concerning was the turnovers tonight this afternoon? Yeah, that, the turnovers hurt us. I mean, um, you know, tonight it was 19 turnovers. You know, and, you know, if playing a game like that, we, we, we turn the ball over that many times. It just hurt our, hurt our offense at times when we were trying to uh, play catch-up basketball the whole night. Uh, so, you know, we definitely got to take care of the basketball and, and um, ma make the right plays out there, make quick, uh, quick decisions um, with some of the plays that we have. But the turnovers for sure hurt us. David Murphy. Hey, Tobias, uh, Joel carried a, a pretty big load tonight and, and gave you guys uh, just about everything you could have could have hoped for. Did you uh, did you expect to see that out of him? I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, um, he's been uh, our force all year long. Uh, so he was able, you know, we were able to get, get him the ball, especially in, in uh start of third quarter and go to him down there um, and, and uh, just allow him to use his physicality on those guys and get to the free throw line and make plays. So, you know, I thought uh, we did a really good job of, um, you know, feeding him down there throughout the game. Obviously, you know, as I said, we, you know, for us, it really wasn't the offensive part because we shot, you know, almost 50% <clears throat> from the field, but it was the turnovers and, and the defense for us, really. Hear me, Pody? Uh, Tobias, uh, can, you, can you talk about the kind of the disappointment in coming out here, game one, home court, second round, and, and finding yourself down 26 in your own building. Like, at one point, the wife was kind of out of this building. You guys did a great job getting back into it. But can you talk about the disappointing disappointment in, in coming out this way with a loss in game one? Yeah, it's disappointing. I mean, um, you know, for sure, being on our court, uh, game one of the second round, 
disappointing, but uh, you know we put ourselves in a position to be in the game. Uh, lack of lack of focus on um, correct correct plays defensively. You know we weren't uh, where we needed to be. They made shots, but uh, you know we we put ourselves in that position, and, and here we are. You know, so we we have to get our minds right, go back to the drawing board, adjust on, on on some things, and come back for game two and be ready. Andrea Finiki. Hi, Tobias. Um, actually, um, Trey Young played uh, very good.